Before you make your first trade, it's important that you get the groove of it. Learn the tricks and rules of trading through a lot of reading. We'll help you through it by recommending you interesting books, movies and websites to make your learning interesting. You must watch Lesson 5 from Introduction to Stocks which lists out a lot more information. So do head out to that course after you've seen this one. Now what are the top recommended websites? The internet is the most open source place for unlimited reading and learning. But you need to know what websites to go to. First, head out to moneycontrol.com. It's probably the most popular of the lot. Informative website that has information right from the latest news to every listed company and general financials as well. It also has charts and data of every stock, including NAVs and credit ratings about mutual funds. This site comes handy to every beginner, but most people would use it for news information since it's almost latest and it's run by CNBC. Next is Economic Times. This portal may be the one-stop solution for all your finance and economic related news. Then we have Google Finance. It provides a concise and easy to understand charting solution for traders. Its two great features are the highlights of key events that occurred on major days for the stock being analyzed. So if there is an important announcement, you'll actually see that announcement on the chart and how the stock reacted to it. Then we have the National Stock Exchange website, which is NSE India. This website is the leading stock exchange of India and you can see a detailed overview of top 10 losers and gainers every day. Needless to say, you'll also see Nifty Prices live. Then we have traderscockpit.com. This website is a technical analyst's dream. It has all the tools you can think of related to charting and technical analysis. And finally, how could we forget Trade Academy? We are proud to be the only website out there providing free education in videos and articles. We update this every single week. The next are top recommended books to read. Now there are a lot and this list was difficult to keep to under five. But over the decades, these are some of the books that you should at least start with. The first is Learn to Earn or One Up on Wall Street by Peter Lynch. Written by Peter Lynch, who is one of the most successful stock market investors of all time, Learn to Earn is aimed at a younger audience and explains the basics of business and investing. One Up on Wall Street makes the case for individual investments and explains how it can exploit market opportunities better than Wall Street. And Beating the Street, which is also his book, is an investment classic that reflects how Peter Lynch went from about choosing winner stocks while running the famed Megalin Fund, which is worth billions of dollars. Then we have The Little Book That Beats the Market by Joel Greenblatt. This book's USP is simplicity that it teaches investing. Greenblatt, who is known for earning an average annualized return of 40% over 20 years, explains his proven magic formula of outperforming the markets using a simple math and in plain language that everyone can understand. Then how can we forget The Intelligent Investor by Benjamin Graham? Let me tell you, this is not an easy read. So if you're just getting in, this is not the place to start because it's a very heavy book. Spotted on the shelves of almost every dedicated trader, this book of Benjamin Graham reveals the history of the stock market and educates the reader on conducting fundamental analysis of stocks by using several case studies to illustrate his point. Reminiscence of a Stock Operator The Wall Street Journal ranked it as one of the most smartest books we ever knew. It recounts the life of ace trader Jesse Livermore who traded as a child in a bucket shop graduated to becoming rich over his lifetime and was able to corner entire markets with his humongous capital. It's interesting to note that although he lost his fortune several times, he owned his own railroad and was worth billions of dollars in today's money. Maybe we can learn from his mistakes. Then is Market Wizards by Jack Schwager. If you've not heard about this book, then pause this video and go out and buy it now. It's the most insightful books you can buy on trading. It contains interviews of top traders who share their wisdom of their trading style, their losses, profits, and even techniques. And finally, my favorite, top recommended movies to see. 
Now, movies are an excellent way to make it relatable for you to connect to a specific scenario. We recommend the following movies on the stock market, which are sure to be a great tool to make you excited before you actually put on that trade. Wall Street, 1987. Greed is good. This quote by famous character Gordon Gekko owes it to this film. This film takes you behind the scenes of stock operators and how they do their job. Watch this movie to get clever. Then we have Boiler Room from 2000. This film is based on interviews. of writer Ben Younger conducted with numerous stockbrokers over two year periods the movie is inspired by the firm Stratton Oakmont and the life of Jordan Belfort you've probably heard of him from the movie Wolf of Wall Street then there is Rogue Trader 1999 Rogue Trader tells us about the story of Nick Leeson an employee of Barings Bank who after a successful stint of working at Indonesia office is sent to Singapore The movie follows Leeson's rise as he soon becomes one of Barings' key traders and follows with a huge loss as he gambles away Barings' money that forces him to flee Malaysia. Maybe you can learn from his mistakes. Then there's Trading Places. This is probably my favorite after Wall Street. A comedy genre movie, Trading Places tells the story of an upper-class commodities broker and a homeless street hustler who lives across the path and they unknowingly exchange positions the storyline is known to be a modern take on mark twain's classic the prince and the pauper apart from these books and websites you may also like to read some articles which you can find in the description the next chapter takes you through major styles of trading do you know what fundamental and technical analysis are well we'll compare them so you can choose the path that you think is right for you i'll see you in the next lesson where we compare fundamental analysis and technical analysis.